Hello guys, Luke from the Free Hammers. This is my vlog for the West Ham Bournemouth game. Um, I'm at Benfleet Station at a minute, waiting for the train. This is the start of my journey every week. It's a bloody long journey, but you know, we do it for the pride of the shirt. Right, I'll be back once I get off at Stratford. See you later. Hello guys, so I've just got off at West Ham, I'm waiting for the district, uh, not district line, the Jubilee line now to get to Stratford. This one's the one where the train gets all cramped up. So it's a big game today guys, we're playing Bournemouth, you know, all the injuries are racking up. I've not seen the line up yet, um, hopefully see it just as I get to the ground. Um, it's a big one, you know, we need to win today. If we lose, we play Man City and then that's another massive one that we could lose and it'll be three loss on the trot. I don't want to be too negative, but it's a big, big must win this early, it really is. See you around the Stratford area. Here now, I guess they call this West Ham Way now. Amazing, honestly, the city of Claret and Blue. I've been here a couple of times now and it still gets me incredible. Right, so I've arrived at the ground, guys. That was a bloody long journey. Massive, massive stadium, guys. Um, I'm gonna go in the ground now, meet Lee from the channel. Hopefully we're able, he'll have some team news for me. Brilliant, guys, look at this stadium. How is this ours, really? As I say, big game today, let's hope we can win. So I'm at the stadium now and I swear to God, you need a rest about halfway up these stairs. It's a long way where me and Lee sit, right at the top, but what a view, look at that, it's like being on TV. So I'll get back to you when I'm at my seat if I haven't passed out by there. So I'm at my seat now guys, still alive, it was a long, long wait. Um, still waiting for the team news, as soon as it's up, I'll go through it with you. But again, just for now, appreciate the view that I'm going to give you. Okay guys, I've seen the lineup now, so all these rumours that Nord Vare and Kuyati are injured must have been a load of old codswallop because it's starting in goal is Adrian, we've got Byron at right back, we're playing Collins and Reed, Masasaku left back, Nord Vare, Noble, Kuyati, Tor, Antonio and Valencia up top. So Carroll probably is injured like we say. On the bench Cagliari, which is nice to see. Um, Bournemouth lineup, I'll go on to now. Okay guys, so looking at Bournemouth's lineup, the danger men are Arta and Ibe. Bobbitt starts in goal and uh, Smith starts for them. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way through their lineup, but they're the main guys to watch out for. Definitely, Ibe is going to be the danger man. Uh, interestingly, with the West Ham lineup, no Pyatt on the bench, so maybe we rushed him back a bit too early at Chelsea. We'll see. The bench is quite weak, but strong considering we're down to so many injuries. Here comes Lee from the Free Hammers. It looks like he's really struggling to get up them stairs, to be honest. So here he is. He's finally turned up. It's about time, Lee. I have to say, it's a struggle getting up them stairs, isn't it? <laughs> right, Lee has finally arrived. I don't know whether you know the lineups, Lee. There's no pie yet, but the rumours of Coyote being injured are not true. Nordvet is not true, but Valencia up top on his own. Yeah, that's a shame that Kelly on the bench, haven't you? Yeah, Kelly's on the bench. Uh, to be fair, it is a good bench considering you've got so many injuries. Obiang is on the bench, Fletcher's on the bench. Yeah, I mean. I think it's a stronger team as we probably could have put out yeah, given the injuries and they're danger men obviously Ibi uh, Art is a very good player isn't he? Yeah Callum Wilson if he's bad. So you're gonna stick with what you've said in the podcast? I said three three. See in the lineups now, I think we can win actually. Yeah I said three one in the podcast and I'll be true to my word and stick to it but, um, yeah three one. Keep watching guys. So the players are out now warming up. There they are, Bournemouth players three, and West Ham.
So that's half time guys, not much happened really, no real clear cut chances. Um, I think Valencia stung the Boric's hands late on, uh, Tour's been okay but not much really going on guys, uh, hopefully the second half we can change things. Tell you one thing I have noticed about the new stadium guys, it's not a nightmare trying to go to the toilet, isn't it? Oh, half time, you just can't get anywhere, people just stood in the middle, the fucking rucksacks on their back, you can't get past them. <laughs> What's your opinion on the game though so far? Oh, quite nice. You know, we look alright, looks a little better than we did against Chelsea, but nowhere near to the level we were last season, but still a long way to go. Time for Valencia to come up though, huh? It's tough for him up on his own, you know, and but he just can't cut it. He just can't cut it, see what I mean? <laughs> he just can't cut it up for that. We'll be back with a second half, guys. And will you please help on number 28, Jonathan Caleri? Reckless challenge for Bournemouth number eight on Coyote. He's gone off. Hopefully now we can capitalise with ten men. Off comes Lord Bear, on comes Ashley Fletcher. 4-4-2 now for West Ham. Hopefully we, we can push on and get the goal now. Michael Antonio is the first Premier League goal scorer for West Ham. That's what he needed. Stabo Milic play him on the wing and he will score. It's 1-0 West Ham. Come on, you guys. So that ends a great day today. First win in the Premier League for West Ham. 1-0 win against Bournemouth. Plan Tony on the wing and the geezer will score. Got Cantor was brilliant today. Masako was brilliant today. Uh, Byron did work right back. Great, great performance in the end. We did ride our luck at times, but brilliant. I just got interviewed by West Ham Fan TV as well. It was great to meet the lads. Um, back to me at home and I'll just sum up the rest of the day. Hello guys, so I'm back home from the game now. Um, obviously, can proper review and talk to you properly now. Um, I thought it was a good game, you know. Um, we've played some tough games, you know. We was out in Astra this week. We've come Chelsea this week. So, tired team, lots of injuries. Uh, we've done really well today to get a result. Um, good performances from Masasaku. Uh, Tor was up and down the wing. He had some really good balls in and actually set up the goal. I couldn't believe actual fans were slating him behind me. I thought he had a really good performance. Uh, Antonio with the goal, playing on the wing and he scores technically. Wasn't his best game, like uh ball got away from him a few times, maybe trying a little bit too hard. Now he's got that goal. Hopefully that'll calm him down. Um nice three points. Um stops the rut, you know, people are starting to get a bit nervous. Uh thinking that if we lost today, we've got Man City on Sunday. But um now, you know, gives us a bit of belief going into the Astrid game on Thursday. We can win that, get through to the group, and you know, try and get a point against Man City at the Etihad. Um, for my man of the match, I'm going to agree, I'm going to say Antonio as well, purely because he's had a hard time this week, he's got his goal and kept us going, it could have been between Torre and Masasaku, but I'm going to give it to Antonio, um, keep believing guys, remember our podcast this week, Jack Sullivan is on, get your questions in, I'm sure there's plenty of questions out there for him, um, just a point on the standing guys, uh, a few people got sent out, I noticed towards the lower corner of the Bobby Moore stand, uh, shame to see that, um, if people want to stand, they'll stand, you know, you, you can't stop and they've paid their money at the end of the day, again, it should have all been part of the transition over to, from Upton Park to here, um, let us know if you were one of those people that had some problems over at the Olympic Stadium today, anyway, that's it from me, I hope you enjoyed my vlog guys, um, keep believing, come on you irons.